just a, uh, a little paradise up in the mountains that the, the team can get away from all the distractions down the valley. It's a place to bond, it's a place to uh, have camaraderie, uh, set goals, and just develop friendship and brotherhood. When we got here, something came over me. You know what I'm saying? Just every move we make and just looking in the creek and you know, the hills, the mountains, the cabins and everything. It just, I started reminiscing about everything. Got a little emotional for a minute. I got stories at the stories of the stories about four years up here of what we did and how we did it in the grind and how, we, you know, we created a brotherhood here. It's definitely a home away from home because nothing's changed here ever from the bunks to the rooms to the electricity. There is no difference, All right? This field's different. You can actually practice here. But other than that, these kids are living like the same way people lived 30 years ago. Uh, there's only five of us that have been here before, uh, with me and Jordan Clark, uh, Matus, and Andre. Um, so it's a whole different team, different coaches, but super exciting, you know, coming up here, enjoying this nice weather. Super nice, super beautiful, and I mean, you see the mountains behind us, it looks like a painting, so very blessed. You know, they showed us a video of like, when they came up in, I believe, 1988, and they made like a YouTube video. And it was just like, they were doing the stupidest things to have fun. I watched half it, and I started to turn it off. Because you know it's old and I'm like, you guys get the point, right? People have been coming up here. And the team's like, no, put it back on. They want that. That's what college football is still about. The core values of college football have to stay the same. And I'm a firm believer in that. You know, I think this team is the closest team I've been a part of so far. Just with all the lifting, you know, it's offense and defense mixed in together. And we're doing a lot of team uh, activities, team events. Um, so I think that's one thing that's going to you know, help us in the, in the long run. And talking to a couple guys last night just about their life, about where they see themselves 10 years from now. So those deep conversations, I think, are going to help us in the long run. Uh, everybody getting together, building relationships closer. We waking up with each other, going to sleep with each other. It's just funny to see certain kids' responses to certain situations and the why. Because I'm the one who goes up and asks them, why, why, why aren't you smiling today? You know, have a good sleep, nice sleep. Welcome to week 13, right? Because that's the reality. We're communicating better with each other. And you know, just that just comes with like stuff like this, you know, team bonding better. You know, you play for your teammates and play for your coaches. And it just becomes bigger than you. This is part because now, it carries on to life after football, mm -hmm. you know. And now, like, if I, you, know, you come back here, and I'm sure, like, on Saturday, there'll be guys that played here that come back. Some guys on our staff that played here, you have something to talk about. It's a no-brainer. And you talk to former players like Jake Plummer, Keith Poole, Van Rapphorst, they'll tell you that this place is what molded their teams. Fight. Fight, team going down the field, fight with the might to the victories are. Long may our colors, way with the others, sing to the tune of the rock.